Good morning everybody and this is your Forex Day Trade setups for today. So we have uh, had a pretty clear break out of um, this consolidation phase. Uh, I suppose this uh, massive pin bar yesterday wouldn't have offered any confidence um, getting into a trade as far as I'm concerned anyway. But um, we do have a breakout and what we're looking for is pullbacks to, to buy into this right now. So we come down to the hour, you can see what I mean. Now this level here was the most logical level to get in. There was an opportunity that it presented itself, but then immediately we had this um, squirt down. And that's pretty much because we had the Feds come out last night. So the Feds um, gave the, the short synopsis of the meeting over the last couple of days, and that's what the volatility was all about. So it's kind of difficult to get into a trade when, when that kind of thing is happening. And um, there's many ways of trading data, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, when there's data coming out, I typically stay out of it. Anyway, uh, that being said, we do have a pretty clear break. You had a clear break up here, but then immediately sort of broke below the lows here as well onto structure. So what I'd be looking for now is structure. And... Uh, that would be a good area right there, which is 121.990. Alternatively, uh, pulling back even a bit lower to 121.775. But uh, that's what we're looking for. If we don't get that, then what we'd be looking for is roughly on this area where we are now at 122.070, a breakthrough, pullback, find support, and that would give us an opportunity to buy into that at the moment. But as I say, the um, consolidation phase here is broken, so you would expect a continuation to the upside. And if I just move to the left before we move on, and we probably have to go quite far to the left. You can see, I mean, I pointed this out earlier in the week, we do have a pretty strong area of resistance right where we are now. And we can we break through that then obviously the next level let's leave it like that is going to be in this area here of 122.405 higher than that you've got all of this resistance here that is going to offer a bit of chaos okay so that's that on your USD there's a breakout you've got a little level up here at 122.405 which is the most logical target right now okay uh, USD Japanese yen same uh, similar scenario we have broken down but of course we had that spike up as well and uh, I mean that is a pretty severe pin bar that but uh, yeah much more rule still stands we need to get a break between one uh, below 103 358 and a retest of that area on the hour and then start running for me to be short on this. This was not conducive to be getting in short yesterday. Uh, we didn't really tag a decent level. I suppose you could argue that that was a level. And let's take that one. There, yeah, hindsight is always a perfect science um, to see where the buyers are going to come in but you know you had each one of these tails here that were also looking like a good opportunities anyway uh, for me this is also still sort of wait sit on hands and wait wait for a bit of a deeper pull uh, sorry a deeper fall and then a pull back onto structure and then start looking for the opportunities to sell into it um, euro Aussie dollar is sideways there is nothing on offer here I mean when we're sideways in the eighth hour like this that just basically means I really need to sit on my hands and not touch it. Now we come down to the hour, you can see even more reasons why not to trade. Okay, remember, we were in this downward trend. We popped up here, which looked like it was a, a potential continuation. But right now, this is uh, sideways. And the longer it goes sideways, the stronger um, the support is going to be at the bottom here at 164.54. So for me, this is sit on hands. There's nothing really on offer there. Um, British pound, Japanese yen. So we've 
kind of um, had a bit of a rally, but the last couple of hours is forming a triangle, or so your last couple of, uh, last 24 hours has formed a triangle, and we are breaking that triangle to the upside. Okay, there's our triangle. So we're gradually grinding higher. If you look to the left here, there's just a little cluster of uh, chaos here, and a little bit further you'll see a little bit more chaos. And we've basically got chaos at the moment. But anyway, it's for me this is a pretty decent area to start watching. And I'm going to use one of these levels here. So that's the, the line in the sand at the moment, which is 139664. So I'd be interested in a long here, uh, but I'd wait for the European Open with a stop below. Uh, 139.454 and what I'm looking for is a measured move of that which basically is the previous high here okay um, next pair is Aussie dollar US dollar and um, you know we are in an upward trend it's a pretty strong upward trend um, there's no debate about that so we should only be going with a trend which is looking for opportunities to buy and at the moment uh, there's the the pin bar as well on uh, this pair so you can see what happens when data comes out um, so at the moment I would be inclined to believe I'm just going to make this pretty wide that we need to clearly break through this um, this zone here so it's top end of the zone is 075778 and the bottom of the zone is 075695 but looking at that price action at the moment I'd be a little bit cautious of that uh, wait for the pullbacks we'll probably come back into the zone and then it gives us an opportunity to buy but what we have here is inverse head and shoulders there's a shoulder there's the head and there's a the shoulder so um, we do have a, a bit of structure here which is indicating a potential breakout to the upside and you could also call it a, a range if you wanted to um, so we've got a range breakout but I just don't trust those pin bars at the moment so looking at that more than likely come back to test one of these levels I'm not sure whether that's going to be well that's been rejected at the moment 075778 has been rejected so here's your next couple of tails so that's what I would expect. I expect to pull back into here, find some uh, support there, and then rally from that area. Okay, so uh, yeah, you can just, what I would be doing is if it's on your watch list, just put your levels in on the hour, come down to the 15, and watch price action. As soon as you start seeing pull bar, uh, sorry, pin bars, inside bars, uh, engulfing bars on the structure here on any of these levels that's going to give you the opportunity to buy into it okay so that's that pair uh, last pair is British pound and Aussie dollar right we are up in the zone which I highlighted yesterday and we did get a range bar not quite a rejection it's a range bar if we just zoom in if you can see we've got a tail to the upside tail to the downside so that is a range bar. So the right thing to do at the moment is wait for a break below it. And that's on the uh, um, 8 hour. If we move down to the hour, and let me just, yeah. so you can see we didn't quite reject the, the zone, we got up above the zone. And it looks like we're coming back to test the zone at the moment. At the moment, the one hour, the trend is to the upside. So I'd be watching for a double top here. And at the same time, I'd be looking to the left to see what else is potentially the target. And there is a little bit of a, a target a little bit higher up. And then there's another one higher up up there. So... Uh, 179400 and 179118 
So that's kind of uh, what I'm waiting for at the moment. So we are in the zone. I can probably delete that at the moment. We're in the zone. I only need to have a watch what's actually going on at the moment. And at this stage, this is the area that we need to wait for, 177.858. Break below that and retest of that area. That is the signal for the short. Your stop will be above the previous high and your target is going to be the gap. So this is one really worth watching today because uh, anything can happen on the Brexit story as well. Anyway, guys, that's um, that's it for me on Forex today. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.